sisters and uh, all five of us have graduated from UC campuses, either UCLA or UC Santa Barbara, so uh, mm -hmm. their dreams were realized. Now, now, Coach John Wooden, he, he, he had a general policy, is this correct, but uh, of using the upperclassmen as starters and then bringing the younger players along a little bit more slowly. And um, by your sophomore year, correct, by your sophomore year, when you were in UCLA, you won the championship. Yeah. Okay, you won the championship by your well, sophomore And actually, year. my freshman year... Um, I started for some, some games. I didn't start the whole season, but right. uh, we had lost to Notre Dame. That year we had Bill mm -hmm. Walton and uh, Jamal Wilkes, who was Keith Wilkes at that time, and some other great players who were all seniors. Right. And we coming into that year, uh, one of the things about UCLA that really attracted me to the program was the fact that uh, first Coach Wooden was the coach, but but just the amount of success that they had had. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, they were in the midst of an of a 88-game winning streak. They were undefeated yeah 30 and 0 the years two year, two prior years before I got there mm -hmm. and when I got there our undefeated winning streak was ended in South Bend in early January wow. against Notre Dame and Adrian Danley and some great players for Notre Dame that following week we had a rematch at Pauley Pavilion mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles at UCLA we played Notre Dame they were number one we were number two we had flip-flopped in the ratings and uh, that's when I got my first start as a college player I was 17 years old and wow. I had a great game 17.7 rebounds about three or four assists a couple of steals not right. that I remember that game right. <laughs> 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 who's counting no but uh, no, I had a great game it was one of the highlights of my life uh, mm -hmm. just because of the way it happened because I didn't know I was going to start and coach Wooden started rattling off the matchups and he said okay Marcus you got Adrian Daly I'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> coach you and, and, said and, Marcus <laughs> and speaking of highlights now we have some of your honors and awards um, 77 through 78 Milwaukee NBA all-star rookie uh, 78 through 79 NBA all-star first and then you have 80 NBA all-star second and 81 NBA all-star second yeah um, you are just going on all-star uh, 70 79 80 81 83 86 I mean consecutively Consecutively. Yeah. Well, I had, I had a good career. I was pretty good. I was mm -hmm. pretty good. You know, I did an interview with, with uh, Julius Irving, Dr. J, about uh, back in February. And uh, it was interesting because he, he gave me the ultimate compliment when he, he said that I was the, the best all around player that uh, he had ever played against. And mm -hmm. so, and uh, I told him, you know, make sure you say that slowly and into the <laughs> camera, Doc, so I can play this back for my kids. And, and, and it's, you know, I had, I, had, I, had, I had a good career. I was a good player, but uh, again, a lot of it had to do with just hard work and, mm -hmm. and uh, being focused and, uh, and just, you know, just being uh, blessed with, with, with some talent. Mm -hmm. now, now, you played for Milwaukee for uh, seven years, right. is that correct? Yes. And then from there, um, you went on to um, um, the Clippers, the Clippers, L.A. L.A. Clippers, and then to uh, the Golden uh, Warriors. Right, Golden State Warriors. Golden but that, State Warriors. Well, you know, the, the, the Clippers, I was traded in 1984-85, and that was the first year that the Clippers moved from San Diego to Los Angeles. But, you know, those weren't uh, the highlight years for me, just because mm -hmm. we were playing mm -hmm. in the shadow of a pretty good team in Los Angeles. The Lakers with Magic Johnson and mm -hmm. Kareem and James mm -hmm. Worthy and Showtime and the whole deal, mm -hmm. and it was almost a feeling like we were the uh, JV team here in Los Angeles. You know, uh, it was it was it was it was it was it was uh, rough because we didn't win a lot of games. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a funny story. I had a car stolen, and I went to the police station to, to fill out the report. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the officers, <laughs> he was like, "Oh, Marcus Johnson, you play for the Clippers. I need to arrest you for no. impersonating the basketball team." You know, <laughs> so I mean, those kinds of jokes <laughs> we used to get all the time as as Clippers, but. But looking back on it now, again, I realize how fortunate I was. I mean, you know, I was able to forge great relationships with Magic Johnson and James Worthy and Kareem. Mm -hmm. I knew from uh, my days at UCLA. Mm -hmm. And just to be a part of the whole basketball scene, that Laker team in the 80s, Showtime, that was a special time. The, the five championships wow. it, they won. Yeah, you know, it was, it was just a live time. To, 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 even though I wasn't a part of it, you know, I was able to appreciate it because I was here in Los Angeles also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you are currently uh, doing some very exciting things as well. Uh, sports analyst with Fox. Yeah. And uh, also an actor. 
Yeah, I've done a lot of acting work. Uh, acting has kind of always been a passion. I grew up here in Los Angeles, and I've been doing acting since junior high school. I was a theater arts major at UCLA. Wow. Uh, I had an opportunity, as I mentioned, to be in some movies and TV shows, White Men Can't Jump. Right, and, you mentioned White Men yeah. Can't Jump. Now, what are some of the other movies that you've been in, just to familiarize those that may not be that may not be aware of it? Another movie, uh, a basketball movie, Blue Chips, with uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Nick Nolte and some other people, mm -hmm. a movie yes. called Speechless yes. with Michael uh, Keaton and Gina Davis. A lot of TV shows, The Sinbad Show, L.A. Law, mm -hmm. uh, a Different World, um, Hang Out with Mr. Cooper, mm -hmm. uh, Baywatch. I had yeah. a real good, uh, good, good role on Baywatch, and uh, and and, and, uh, and a few other TV TV shows. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's been good. I mean, and, and that's something that I've, I've the, the, the 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 broadcasting work, the basketball analysis work. The last five or six years, I've been kind of really into now I'm at a point where I think I want to give this acting thing another try so that's mm -hmm. where my energies really and efforts are right it. now that's, yeah. that, 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 that's awesome I wish you all the best of luck but right now we have a clip uh -oh. that we're going to uh, show for, uh, that you put together and um, take a look here it is it's the best of our good friend Marcus Johnson here Patrick where were you at fool I'm right here man I'm ready to enjoy the best of Marcus Johnson now, any of you fools out there got a question for Marcus Johnson? First of all, Patrick, it's not Yaka, it's Yaka. Now, I can take me and four of my homeboys from Crenshaw High School, that's right, my Shaw Dogs, I'm talking about Pookie Bosco, Big Larry, and Nasty Newport. Hey, made the playoffs, it's Hector was a fuck. It's Carmel Anthony, a child yeah. shall leave them. Damn, you sure know your basketball. <laughs> yeah, I know a whole lot about life. Patrick, Patrick, this is my, this is my business. This is, this is who I am, this is what I do. I take my job very seriously. Wow. Rule number 10, section 8, the defensive three-second rule. Don't tell the boss man Steve Tello this, but during the regular season, Patrick, I don't even watch basketball games. What? I got a bunch of little crumb snatchers running around, man. I need to get paid, baby. I need my money. He need to bust them some hardcore, man, some B.I.G., man. Federal ages, man, because of flagrant no. tap for sale <laughs> and the phone in the basement. I had a 64 Chevy Impala, blue metal plate paint job, hydraulic lips, zip, 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 zip. We talking about silk and satin. We talking about the big fluffy wide sleeves, a nice little, little, little sporty sash here. The girl be like, huh, what's that? I be like, that's my knee. She like, hm, forget it. It's got one seat. I got to tell him to work on that. Oh, I need wow. two seats because I like to travel with my lady. You can borrow this from me. No, no, no. No, really? That's where I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. You sure? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go no, ahead. No. Oh, you the man. You the man. You the man. You the man. Standing two feet from Don't you. And you act like I'm all the way across the country. Boy. No. Boy. No.